doing? Hi, everybody. This is Bobby. He's adorable. What? He's, I know he's a little whiny right now. He's a talker. Sorry about the noise. We're going... We're going live. It's not really live, but... What? Dude, I'm doing a video, babe. Can you give me a minute? Love you. Love you. He's so cute. Oh, yes, you are, Bobby. You're a good boy. I'm doing a video, though. I'm doing a video, though. What? Tell him. Tell him what you're thinking. <laughs> I love you. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, sorry. You're distracting me, babe. Okay. This video. Hi, how you doing? My name is Amber of the Universe. It's not really my name. Just call me Bobby. Okay. So today's video is going to be about enabling enablement enablers the power that you have as an enabler and the reason hey babe seriously sit sit good boy chill i know give me shake me come on he's just you just all over it huh i don't know i feel you too babe i love you more i love you more i love you more i love you more <laughs> he's so cute anyway okay you too bubba so <sighs> this is like the backyard of my nephew's apartment where my sister stayed and my my great nephew yeah come on now dude seriously okay enablers enablement the problem with that is a simple matter of the bond the attachment that you had dude seriously babe uh, see like that great you're 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 proving my point <laughs> so the point is is when you get an emotional bond with somebody and they abuse you and they take advantage of that bond of love that you have for them that's toxic behavior and when you know what I'm speaking is ringing true in your heart then you are in a toxic it could be a family member it could be a father a mother it could be a brother a sister it could be a child of yours that you love and care for that's just a little prick or a bitch and they treat you like shit and they know there's that bond emotional bond of love that you have for them and they use that at nauseum to their benefit and to poke and to prod and to push your buttons and to, and and to just drain your energy and to make you physically sick and a lot of people that are in it like it's like abusive behavior like a woman falls in love with the guy and he turns out to be a piece of crap and he's beating on her and all this other cheating on her and she's all he loves me and all this other shit it's like no and, and that's an enablement when you don't love yourself enough that you allow somebody to do that kind of shit to you or you allow somebody to scream and yell at you to your face that is psychological abuse that's mental abuse it's i mean it's it's just as good as punching in the face if not more because it's a it's it, the the effects are longer the longer lasting effects of the psychological and the emotional abuse that you get from people that you call your loved ones and they treat you like shit so this video is really simple. This is about self-love. This is about you. Loving yourself enough to where you don't take that kind of shit from people. Right, puppy? Well, yeah, I think dog just won't shut up. But anyway. So, seriously. You need to take your power back. Love yourself. This is why I promote self-love. Because people that are in love with themselves, they don't let somebody smack them around. And then cheat on them and bring home some scratchy disease that they didn't want in the first place. Because, gee, I just wanted to love you. Not everybody that you're going to hump on the side. Right? So that's just one example. I mean, there's simple examples of, of drunken parents, fathers beating the crap out of their kids. That kind of that's a, that's one example. And you know, like I said, it all starts with the love that you have for somebody, and they take that bond and they abuse it. They use it to the point where you are just suffering, and they don't give a shit. They're narcissists, for the most part. They're just self-absorbed assholes, and they got you in their net, and you got to somehow break free. Damn. Thanks for the construction. Thanks for stop. Thanks for not wanting Bob. The point is, is I need you to love yourself. I need you to get out of those b toxic relationships. Get away from them. If you're not your child, if they're not like under 18 and you're obligated to to wipe their butt every day, kick them to the curb. Don't give them the time of day. Don't drive them to the dentist. Don't drive them to the store. Don't give them money. Don't do anything for them. If they're gonna abuse you and treat you like crap and not honor you, honor you the love that you have for them. Come on now. Really? You're better than that. Because I'm here telling you I love you. And you're awesome. And you're beautiful. And you're sexy. And you're handsome. And whatever the hell you are. You're all of those things. 
And you look great in those jeans. The universe keeps telling me that the jeans are hot. So rock it, baby. Do what you got to do. Love yourself. And of course, the dog's probably going to shut up once I get off the video. But I love animals. He's probably just affirming everything I'm saying. He's like, yeah, you tell him, Bubba. You tell him. Preach all. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe loves you. And I want you to have a wonderful day. And, get, and break free from the bonds, babe. Because you're better than that. You deserve, you're the emperor. The empress of your universe. Your universe. So, remember that. Okay. Have a wonderful day, Bob. Got anything else to say? Nice, no, cool. He's just chilling. Bob's chilling. Anyway, love you. Have a wonderful day, people.